All right, welcome. Hello, everybody, doTERRA. How's it going? Welcome to this exclusive training. Um, my name is Simone Lesu, and today we have a very special guest. His name is Scott Johnson, and we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, but I'd first like to start off by teasing the topic with a question to you guys. Um, have you ever inherited something from a grandparent, whether it was a cherished family heirloom or your grandpa's classic car, right? Rolls Royce, 57, whatever the case is. Um, whether it was a decades old China or a lounge chair from your grandma, items are not the only thing you inherit from your grandparents, okay? The choices they made and the lifestyle that they lived can influence the way your genes express. Um, therefore, that affects your overall well-being. And so this is what we're going to discuss today. Uh, we ask that Scott Johnson, doTERRA's uh, training and education director and best-selling author of more than 17 books, working on his 18th, uh, to join us today and to share what we know about how essential oils affect the exciting field of epigenetics. Um, welcome, Scott, and thanks for joining us. Thank you for taking some time to be with us today. My pleasure. I'm uh, excited to share a little bit more about essential oils and, and always excited to have an opportunity to share. Awesome. So let's get into it, Scott. This is a very exciting topic. Um, first, let me just start off by saying, can the decisions of our parents or our grandparents really influence our genes and well-being? That's an interesting question to explore, isn't it? We all know that the decisions we make each day can affect our overall well-being. The foods and drinks we choose to consume, the amount of activity we participate in, our responses to stress, the chemicals and toxins we are exposed to, and even the supplements and essential oils we use each make a difference. But we are just beginning to understand how the decisions your parents grandparents and even great grandparents made influenced your health. And maybe even more important, we are also learning how much we can influence our own gene expression through our own lifestyle choices, as well as how these choices might affect the well-being of your children, grandchildren, and maybe even great grandchildren. This is the fascinating field of epigenetics. Okay, so that's a little bit mind blowing, um, but help us understand what epigenetics is, um, because it kind of seems like a complicated topic. It can be complicated, but in the simplest sense, epigenetics is the study of how our lifestyle influences gene expression. To better understand epigenetics, we first need to understand DNA. We inherited DNA from our parents, which contains instructions for building and maintaining an organism. It is basically like a set of blueprints or instructions for how your body will grow, develop, and live. DNA is present in virtually all human cells and stored as a code made up of four chemical bases. Approximately 99.9% .9 of those bases are the same in all humans. The other 0.1% represents mutations or mistakes that occur in a DNA sequence when a cell divides and makes a copy of its genome. So think of this in terms of you copying your grandmother's famous chocolate chip cookie recipe. You intend to write down the ingredients and instructions exactly so you can duplicate the delicious cookies she makes. But in the process of copying the recipe, you mistakenly change the half teaspoon of salt to a half tablespoon of salt. Certainly the cookies won't taste the same. This is the same thing that happens when our cells divide and make copies of their DNA. They can make mistakes and insert the wrong base in a DNA sequence. These mutations or variations in DNA make you uniquely you. So instead of mutations, epigenetics deals with how these genes are expressed. Genetic expression is the process in which the instructions in our DNA are converted to a functional product like a protein or those cookies we mentioned. Gene expression allows a cell to respond to its changing environment and adapt to it. 
gene expression acts as a light or a dimmer switch to control when and how much of certain proteins are made. So epigen epigenetics involves changes in gene activity without changing the actual sequence of chemical bases in DNA. I like to explain epigenetics with the analogy of a light bulb. The light bulb, which represents your genes, has the capacity to produce light, but it won't do so on its own. It must receive a signal from an attached switch, which represents your lifestyle. In this case, it is a dimmer switch because the switch can be turned up or down, on or off. So while epigenetics doesn't change our DNA, it does orchestrate what genes are expressed and when. Wow, wow, that was a lot, that was a lot. Let me just make sure I have my notes right. So just to summarize this, epigenetics is all about the connection between lifestyle and how that affects our cells, um, how that affects how our cells read the blueprints or instructions for maintaining our growth and development, right? You mentioned several lifestyle factors like food and drinks and physical activity. Um, and that could actually influence our gene expression. What about essential oils? Do we know how that affects epigenetics? I'm glad you asked because we are really in the infancy of research surrounding essential oils and epigenetics. All the research to this point has been outside of the human body, but it gives us an idea of the potential benefits essential oils could have in relation to epigenetics and helps to guide further research in humans. The exciting news is that emerging preclinical research suggests that regular use of essential oils may positively influence epigenetics. Simulating genetic expression in a lab, researchers discovered that essential oils can positively influence the healthy expression of genes in multiple systems throughout the body, including the circulatory, respiratory, lymphatic, immune, musculoskeletal, reproductive, nervous, and integumentary systems. Those of us who have used essential oils for a while understand that they work to support healthy processes in the body to maintain homeostasis. So this isn't a surprise, but it gives us another angle to view how essential oils may be working to maintain a state of well-being. Let's explore what this research found. You may use helichrysum for its great skin benefits. And the preclinical epigenetics research shows that it positively influences genes in your integumentary system or the skin, hair, and nails. You may have heard us talk about how citrus oils are eight healthy immune function during the strong all season series. Well, grapefruit was found to aid healthy gene expression in the immune system. Among other uses, oregano is used to support healthy respiratory function when it's consumed. And the preliminary epigenetics research found that it does in fact positively assist expression of the genes in the respiratory system. Wow. Wow, that's really interesting. Um, thank you, that's great. When you said oregano, I, I actually had the taste of oregano in my mouth. It's not the best, but learning that is awesome, right? I'm willing to to take that taste. Um, but thank you, thank you for sharing that. Now, another question I had is, what has doTERRA done to explore this evolving connection between essential oils and epigenetics? Yeah, here at doTERRA, we have also evaluated how some of our most popular oils and blends affect epigenetics. Using the BioMap and BioSeq platforms, doTERRA scientists observed the activity of doTERRA essential oils in cell-based models of tissue and how they affect our overall well-being. So this is another test outside the human body that allows us to evaluate how certain essential oils may work within cellular systems. This test specifically allows researchers to evaluate how a bioactive substance influences the expression of proteins in a laboratory environment. This is very important because proteins are responsible for nearly every task of cellular life. 
Epigenetics and proteins are closely linked because epigenetics can influence the production of proteins in cells. Positively influencing epigenetics helps ensure that only the necessary proteins are produced by the cell. It comes as no surprise that the findings in laboratory settings showed that on guard helps assist healthy expression in the immune system, including supporting re resolution of immune activity after a threat has been handled. This is great news to know that on guard may help promote balanced immune function. Frankincense, a favorite of everybody's, is known for its support of healthy cellular function when it's consumed. The study of frankincense showed that it may help aid healthy pro protein and gene expression related to the immune system, our inflammatory response, and skin restoration. Similarly, DDR prime was involved in the expression of proteins related to our immune and inflammatory responses. And these are just a few of the nuggets gleaned from the ongoing research. While we are still evaluating a massive amount of data in relation to essential oils and epigenetics, it is exciting and promising to know that this preclinical research suggests that essential oils can assist healthy genetic expression. Yeah, that's awesome. That's, uh, that's really interesting, great early findings. And you know, obviously we look forward to these future discoveries. Um, but thank you so much for sharing about how essential oils and epigenetics, just the connection between that. That's, that's really something that it was a lot to learn today. Um, now, tip the iceberg, Bill. I know we're going to have Nicole Stevens jump on during our Pursue 2020 um, connection. And she's really going to dive into epigenetics a little bit more. And so if, you, if we've tickled the curiosity there, make sure you grab your ticket for connection, Pursue 2020. Um, but thank you so much, Scott, for sharing your wealth of knowledge and experience with us. So uh, we really appreciate your time. My pleasure. It's uh, always great to have the opportunity to share with my doTERRA friends. And I'll just echo what you said to, that it's uh, so important to attain, attend convention and get more product education just like this so that you can really know the cutting edge science that's being done here at doTERRA. For sure. All right, doTERRA family, friends, that pretty much wraps us up today. If you have comments and questions, we'll get to those. Uh, but thank you for tuning in. And again, thank you, Scott, for being with us.